Good morning, everybody. Am I audible? Money and credit. Money and credit. Money is the most essential item in our present economy, in our day-to-day -day life. It is as the most important item in a present economy, which has used for a completion of a basic necessities. Basic necessities, necessities the basic needs of an individuals. In modern economy, in today's world, today, today's world, different countries of a world, they develop the money and it's passed through the many stages. At the dawn of a human civilization, human needs were so ample and the people, they were need as need the need items for their self reliant for completion of their needs earlier it was not as a equivalent of more uh, marketing system which now as a presently as used in our country used in our society used earlier it was as a barter system barter system was followed barter system this system worked on a exchange of goods exchange of goods limited number of producers available in a market they exchange they produce the goods and afterwards the production harvesting and afterwards they exchange such number of goods with each other such kind of a marketing system was uh, developed in our economy uh, at the age of a vedic or a pre vedic age barter system such barter system it was as based upon a principle of a double coincidence of bonds double coincidence of bonds dense of bonds according to this principle both buyers and sellers it should be agree for the marketing activity when they are agree when they are ready for the marketing activity under such circumstances, under such circumstances, the marketing activity, it can be as a possible means that the both buyer and the sellers, seller, it should be as a ready to the, ready to the exchange with the, exchange with the, those commodities, which are produced by the commodities produced by the buyers. After the production, after the harvesting, after harvesting, both were exchange their goods the same quantities of goods with each other with each other our ancestors they relied on the direct exchange of goods and the services for example in any farmer they had the sur some surplus production or spare wheat spare wheat in such avas it can be as exchange the wheat with the exchange wheat with the potatoes potatoes which are produced by the other other producer other farmer so such kind of a barter system which worked on a double coincidence of wants in which both buyers and sellers agree to exchange their goods agree to exchange their goods so it was as a coincidentally happened that uh, both buyers and sellers they are agreed to exchange their goods with each other exchange their goods with each other in a present economy barter system it is not as a uh, suitable for our modern economy our modern needs where the diversified forms of goods are produced and manufactured different number of goods produced and manufactured by the producers manufactured by the producers most number of goods which are available in our economy in our markets their prices are affected by their 
prices are affected by their supply if the supply of a commodity it is as the larger under such circumstances the prices of such goods are the lower it has generally happens with the those crops which are afterwards the harvesting they are ready to the selling in a markets at the time of april and may wheat available in present economy at the amount of a 20 to 25 rupees per kg but in off season present society as in january and february january february march which is as the growing season of a wheat in that situation circumstances wheat has selling at a high rates 35 to the 40 rupees it has directly influenced by the supply but in earlier in time when the supply of goods produced by the limited number of producers limited producers were there which produce their goods and after the production they exchange the such number of commodities same amount of a same weight of a commodities with each other each other this was known as a barter system so why do we call as the barter system is not suitable with the present economy and what are its demerits what are its demerits demerits of a barter system demerits of barter system first lack of lack of double coincidence of wants double coincidence of wants so according to a principle of a double coincidence of wants both buyers and sellers it should be as a agree to exchange their goods in that state if the shopkeeper a which has produced the shopkeeper a shopkeeper a produce the wheat b produce the onions onion and c produce as a c produce the milk products dairy milk milk in that state if the a require as a onion and b is also agree as a selling their goods and they are ready to purchase as a wheat then the both can coincidentally happen that the both will exchange the goods but in that state in which a require the onion but the b is not agree to take the wheat it needs b needs as a milk then under such circumstances selling exchange of goods it is not possible in between of a or b it will be happen in between of b and c when the c is ready to purchase onion and b is ready to take the milk coincidentally it will be has happen so lack of a coincidence of wants lack of double coincidence of wants is essential lack of double coincidence of wants affect over the marketing activity the double coincidence of wants is essential for the functioning of a barter system it is necessary for one party to want exactly what the other party offers in exchange and vice versa in the absence of a double coincidence of wants no exchange will take place for example just a is agree to take the onion but the b is not ready to purchase as a to exchange with the onion exchange with the wheat b is needs as a milk then the coincidence of wants it will be as happen in between of b or c but c is not agree to exchange with the b onions so under such circumstances the marketing activity it can't be as a possible clear it can't be possible second lack of divisibility lack of lack of divisibility divisibility lack of divisibility divisibility means solid substance like as a wheat it can't be as exchange with the liquid substances liquid substances or we can say as the whenever as a farmers which produce as a crops twice in a year they can produce crops twice in a year but in the other side as the person which has mined the material which mined the material and obtained the minerals beneath the layers of earth crust such minerals which takes a longer duration of time for their formation 
one kg of gold it can't be as exchange with the one kg of a wheat same amount of a commodity so lack of divisibility lack of divisibility has impact over the impact over the exchange uh, this barter system third is a lack of a, a common measure of value lack of common measure of value now am i audible now am i audible okay thank you i'm again repeating as a demerits of a barter system barter system in which the goods exchange in between of a buyers and a sellers it worked on a double coincidence of wants double coincidence means in which buyer and seller agree to exchange the goods they both are agree to exchange the goods clear so double coincidence of wants was a principle on which as a barter system functioned it worked barter system worked on a double coincidence of wants so these are the demerits first lack of double coincidence of wants lack of double coincidence of wants in a double coincidence of wants is is essential for the functioning of a functioning of barter system it is necessary for one party to want exactly from the other party for example in market there are two sellers are there seller a seller b seller a produce as a wheat seller b produce shopkeeper b produce as a onion if the a needs as a onion but the b is don't want as a wheat then under such circumstances marketing can't possible marketing is not possible for the marketing what i for the exchange of goods both buyer and seller it should be as a agree to exchange the goods they should be agree to exchange the goods in which as a needs as a onion and a b which is accepting as a wheat under such circumstances it can be as a possible but coincidentally it will be happen that the both buyer and seller are agree to exchange goods this is as a demerit first drawback first limitation of a barter system clear second lack of divisibility lack of divisibility divisibility in which a different number of items these are not possible to divide with the other items not possible to divide with other items for example for example 100 kgs or a 200 kgs of a wheat 200 kgs of a wheat it can't be as a exchange with the it can't exchange with the animals it can't exchange with the gold a farmer which produces the crops twice in a year it can it can produce a goods every year but in as their opposite minerals which needs a longer duration for their formation like coal gold diamond they needs as a longer duration for their formation those miners which mined the materials minerals such minerals 1 kg of a gold it can't be as a exchange with the 1 kg of a wheat so lack of a divisibility is a drawback of a barter system that's why the barter system is not used in a present economy clear third lack of a lack of common measure value in barter system there was uh, they were not as the measuring instruments were developed by the early men in a pre vedic age the people they were not developed as the measuring 
uh, instruments. So there was no any of a common measure of a value under the barter system. Different commodities uh, are of the different values at different values. Different values. It is difficult to decide in what proportion are two are two goods to be exchanged. It's not easier for the uh, producers for that to which they can exchange the goods, exchange the goods because at that time not any of a measuring instruments were developed during as a barter system age of barter system so that's why most number of goods these were the on an assumption basis these were exchanged by the buyers and sellers buyers and sellers fourth is the difficulties of a storing wealth in a barter system difficulty of Difficulty of storing wealth. In a present economy, we can store the wealth. We can store the wealth in a form of a gold, silver, gold, silver, or currency. In a form of currency. But in a barter system, when the goods were produced, the wealth of a people, it was as the production. That production which raised by the farmers every year, every year to their efforts, it's not possible for them to store them for a longer duration of time. It is difficult to save under a barter system. A, carpent, a carpenter could not store as a tables, chairs, but would need as a, for which as a, it need as a larger room. A farmer, it can't be as a, it can't store the food grains more than the one year more than the one year clear it can't stored as the greens more not more than the one year afterwards as a it has to as it has to consume or either as a sell it to the others but to the save some meat or the cheese for a longer periods are the possible in a present but it needs as a controlled conditions Controlled conditions of modern technology used for a storing of a materials in a present in a form of a preservations, preservation centers, preservation centers. But in previous in time, when the barter system was used at a larger in scale, at that time, wealth it can't be as a stored as easily. Next wave is a difficulty in a deferred payments. Difficulty in a future payments, deferred payments, deferred payments. In present economy, we can emphasize over the future payments. Future payments. We can save the wealth and that wealth, that money, that currency, it can be as a use in a future. Use in future. But in a barter system, lacks a standard of a future payments lack of standard of future payments there is no stability in the prices of a goods in a market goods in market during as a off season off season after the ending of a harvesting season during as a growing season growing season it's not easy for the producers to sell their goods at a low cost low cost for example presently the growing season is going on of a wheat in a Punjab. Growing season is going on. In a month of April and May, wheat is available in a market at amount of 20 to 25 rupees. 25 rupees per kg. But in this time, January, February till March, till the mid of the March, end of a March, wheat, it is as available in a market at amount of 35 to 40 rupees. It is a off season is going on. Off season. Goods are not supplied in a bulk in a not in a bulk in market. When the goods are selling in a bulk in market, their prices are controlled. But when the goods are their commodities, their supplies are affected during as an off season, their prices are high. Prices high. So if we think about the Payment of a goods, payment of the commodities in a form of the future payments. It is not possible with the grains. It is not possible with the agricultural goods, which needs as a preservation. Preservation. 
but when we are talking about the that prehistoric pre vedic time period pre vedic time period when barter system it was as a most popularized in country at that time the future payments were not possible future payments were not possible which is known as a deferred payments deferred payments these were not possible in economy in earlier but now as presently as possible this is as a biggest limitation of a barter system next difficulties in the exchange of services difficulties in exchange of services in barter system buyer buyer move towards a seller it keep the same amount of a commodity same amount such amount uh, such amount of a commodity which has given to the seller and on this evers it has taken the same amount of a commodity from the sellers buyers they are taking they are given as their goods to the sellers and the sellers goods taken by the buyers so it's not as a uh, easier task it's it was very difficult to exchange the commodities with the services services like as a laborers which provide as a service in the economy at that time laborers provide as the services in that time it's not easy it was as a very difficult difficult to exchange with the services services for example it's not uh, easy to uh, avail the services of a doctor teachers in terms of the goods in terms of good people started as a thinking about the some of the other convenient methods of exchange and their efforts led to the invention of a money which led to the invention of money in a world economy so tell there any questions barter system tell there any questions any questions next is some money next topic is some money what is a money money is defined as a anything that is generally anything that is generally acceptable acceptable as a means of exchange acceptable as a means of exchange money is refers to anything that is generally acceptable as a means of exchange and that at the same time and that at the same time acts as a measure and as a store of value is known as money money is a medium of exchange money is a medium of exchange used by individuals used by individuals for purchasing of commodities for purchasing of goods for purchasing of goods and completion of their needs completion of their needs to sum up the money it serves it serves as a medium of exchange a store of value it is a standard of a deferred payments deferred payments and a measure of value or a unit of account we can study about the money with its functions which are divided into the three parts money has possessed the three functions functions of money functions of money primary functions
in present economy in present economy all are ready to take money nobody deny it first function of a money is a primary function which includes as a medium of a change money is a universally accepted money is universally accepted now i am audible money is universally accepted nobody deny to take as a money everybody accept everybody agree to take money clear akhilesh nobody deny to take money this is a primary function of money primary function of money second it is a measure of value money used in a present society it is money used in a present society as a measure of value of value it is as easily calculated which was earlier not possible with the barter system earlier it was not possible with the barter system earlier it was not possible with the barter system in which as a value of the goods were not easily assess but with the introduction of a money it's easy to assess in a present economy through their value present society in present economy money used in a money used in a three forms first currency notes currency notes second coins first currency notes second coins second coins currency notes coins and bonds shares aapne sune honge shares bonds forms of currency modern forms of currency used in our present economy in our present economy present economy money can act as a common measure or standard of value or the units of goods and services it is measuring the money is measuring as the rod just as the thermometer measures temperatures and ruler measures as the length so money measures as the value money measures as the value measures as the value nobody deny to take the money everybody is a accepted it is a universally accepted money is a universally accepted in a world economy hard currency is accepted if you are moving towards the us and canada they are neither accepting as the indian rupees they are accepting as a hard currency dollars dollars are the widely as a worldwide globally dollars and a pounds euros are accepted because of its strong economies high value high value which has accepted in all the countries of a world clear second are the secondary functions of a money secondary functions of money secondary functions of money secondary functions of money money is a store of value it is a store of value money is a store of value many sorry money generally money generally does not lose its value over time it does not lose its value over a passage of time so it acts as a store of value in other words we can say money allows people to save in order to make purchases at later date at later date money is a convenient way to store purchasing power goods may be sold today and the money taken in exchange for them may be stored until it is needed 
in a presently people are investing their money in a precious materials precious minerals gold and silver the present value of a gold whatever is there in near in future if their prices are increased through which as they can increase their money the value of their money it will be as a increase in future increase in future the prices of a such precious materials gold silver it will be as not decrease in future not decrease in future the reason is that population has increasing day by day as per the increasing population burden on resources is increasing due to the increasing growth or growth rate of population resources are decreasing day by day decrease in resources decrease in resources means their prices will increase in future also presently that's why as a people are prefer to invest their money in a gold and silver with its value as increase in a future this is as a secondary secondary function of a money second is a money is a standard of a deferred payments money is a standard of deferred payments deferred payments means with the help of a money you can easily you you <coughs> you can easily use for a future payments future payments money serves as a standard of standard of debt or de deferred payments when a person buys a goods on a credit he uses the goods but does not have to pay for them immediately the consumer can pay some time after he or she receives the goods in the case of higher purchase payment is made by the installments spread over a number of the months or a year for example the number of individuals which are borrowing as the car for borrowing car or a home loans on which on such behalf of a credit they can easily as a construct their home they can construct their home or purchase a car in a present economy after a some span of time through installments they can repay the amount of a credit amount of loan to the installments this is as a second secondary secondary function of a money it is supportive for the standard of deferred payments future payments for future payments they can use the money for a future payments third transfer of value earlier in a barter system it's not easy for a people to transfer the goods from one place to another in that situation when the means of transport were not developed these were not developed with the introduction of a money it's easy to transfer the transfer value towards the other areas towards other areas this function of a money it relates to its serving as a medium of transfer of value it helps you it helps us to transfer values from one person to another from one place towards another from one place towards another for which as a widely we are using as a demand drafts dd demand drafts and a checks to which as easily we can transfer the funds we can easily transfer the funds from a one person towards other or a one place towards other as safety otherwise if the if the